American voters getting a chance to show how they feel about the Trump presidency and GOP control of Congress. I'm hoping that people see what's going on and that they really take the time to come out and vote. President Trump's final push before Election Day came in Missouri on Monday, predicting he'll get blamed for Republican losses and no credit for GOP success. If we don't do so well tomorrow, they will put me on the ticket. If we do great tomorrow, they will say he had nothing to do with it. Like the rest of the country, the president waits and watches today as Americans decide whether Republicans will hold both chambers on Capitol Hill or Democrats grab a share of the power. While congressional Republicans wanted to make their case around the economy, President Trump zeroed in on immigration, a move that could prove harmful to GOP candidates in suburban districts in places like Virginia, Pennsylvania, and California, trying to attract moderates and independents. Democrats made their case around health care and character. Our leader with the biggest megaphone in the world is endangering, engaging in conduct unbecoming a president. It is beneath the office of the presidency. In addition to 435 House races and 35 Senate races, 36 governor's mansions are up for grabs today, too, with Republicans on defense in 26 of those states. In Washington, I'm Karen Kafa.